everybody. I am just doing one more where I'm shopping. I thought I would share some of the contents from my um, my Penzies orders uh, with you. Penzies is really fun um, to visit in person if possible, and they do have they do have um, stores nationwide. Um, but I thought I would also mention it for the people who are interested in sampling and trying interesting things. For instance, you can get um, cinnamon from China at Penzi's, but you can also get cinnamon from Vietnam and from Indonesia. So it's kind of interesting and there's also Ceylon cinnamon. So it's kind of fun to kind of sample some of the different um, origins of these things. It's not unlike deciding what essential oil, you know, you like and from where. Like, there's many different rose geraniums. Um, I know that I happen to really like the rose geranium from Egypt and Madagascar, but there are other choices for rose geranium too. And the plant originally comes from South Africa. So in this way, you can improve your palate, you can satisfy your curiosity, and just learn about the rich and varied history and origins of food, spices, where they came from. Over the years, I've fallen in love with two, um, two, well, Herbe de Provence is not like from Penzi's in origin, it's a traditional spice blend, but I do get mine from Penzi's. And then uh, Tuscan Sunset kind of has like a, a Greek feel to it, to me. It says Italian style. Um, anyway, so these are the two that I probably use the most. And these are their refill bags. And they're meant to fill up a bottle this size. So some of these, some of these um, bottles I've had, the taller bottles in particular, I've been refilling for years, so they're old. And I like to store my things in glass when I can, if I have the option. Um, in the case of these guys, I've run out of room. But I just thought I would show some of the different sizes they carry and just, oh, there's a lot of curiosities. And the vanilla is not unlike the cinnamon I mentioned. You can try their vanilla from Mexico or you can try their Madagascar vanilla. And they're two different creatures. So um, it's just fun. It's fun to experiment and explore. I always like to keep some cinnamon sticks in case I'm making mulled wine in the winter um, or rice pudding. Or um, sometimes they're nice in a pot of couscous too. This time I have Indonesian cinnamon because I like to experiment too. Um, but I have some um, I have some Ceylon cinnamon in the kitchen. So I'm also learning just like everyone else here. Um, and then this jar is of their really good cocoa powder that I like. And I mostly keep it and use it in the winter or sometimes in the summer if I just have like a sweet tooth. I like to make rose water hot chocolate. And so I use their cocoa powder and I buy it in a large quantity, maybe once a year. And I store it in my beautiful Italian um, Fido um, jars. Can you see the top made in Italy? I just love these jars and over the years I've been collecting them because again I, I just am not a fan of plastic storage. I like glass and they've come with me through so many different um, incarnations of my life and they've been reused and reused again and again in my business and in my personal life and I just love them. I like to take good care of them and I feel like they're really pleasing and comfortable to to use too and to have and to see. They're, they look gorgeous visually all lined up on a counter. Um, anyway, so I thought you'd enjoy Penzies. It's very easy to mail order from Penzies. Um, and I think it's $50. I can't remember. Uh, let's see, $39.95. If you spend $39.95 or more, you can have free shipping. And it's just a really enjoyable experience ordering from them. It's kind of like Upton Tea. Um, it's not a super fast kind of turnaround, so, you know, be prepared to wait a week, but good things are worth waiting for. And I think you will enjoy Penzies. They have a really good, um, uh, vanilla baking extract too that I, I didn't include in this little collection. I've got it in my kitchen, 
but that too is good. And again, you can kind of experiment um, with the Madagascar or the Mexican and see what you like. So I hope that if you don't already know pansies, that this will be a cool discovery for you. And if I haven't already mentioned this, you can also search to see um, if your city's city has a pansy storefront because they are also all over the U.S. It is a franchise, um, but it's a business I enjoy and I find comforting. And also there are some kind of more exotic things that I like to get that I can't always find um, more locally. And so I find myself turning to pansies for that. So I hope you'll enjoy. Thanks. I'll be back soon.